Hello everyone, welcome back to Garfield. Now we're gonna keep on going with the echoes of the past. I do have, I think, two pieces of evidence I can hand in, but I really want to see what this mission's gonna be like. Have read. We go. Complete, Captain. Alright, um, why, where did literally everything else go? There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. three, 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 four, four, three. All right. Wait, where the hell am I going? All the way back to Seoul. Oh, I have to report this, I forgot. Uh, uh, well, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, it was terrible. Tiny tin can of fragile humans has survived being hurtled through space once more. Welcome back, Agent. You're clear to dock at docking port one. All right. We got to report this. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. Open fire, I'm kidding. I'm a bit confused. There are people missing right now. Normally there are people on that side. All across the galaxy. Uh, right. Is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvorov. There's one thing spookier than a pirate. All right. Well, actually, the commander appreciates the sacrifice you've made. I have Going some evidence for you. Nice work. Let me take a look. Yeah, I've actually picked this up from a locked penitentiary on Suvorov. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full blown fairy tale. Anything else? Yeah, I found uh, information about a Adler camp. Interesting. Looks like he's been meeting up regularly with Neva Mora to transfer goods and cash from Sidonia. Which means the Crimson Fleet's just lost one of their drop points. <laughs> that should set them back a bit. Any other fragments? That's all I have for now. Okay, fine, fine. I still find that funny that Let he just left that else. little piece of info just on the desk. All right, Commander. You're back. So how did it go? Uh, I thought you've been monitoring me. Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover, and that could get everyone killed. Ah. Uh, well, I'll be pretty confident about this. I've successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. I'm confident this plan is going to work. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Are you sure it's safe I pass this information to you? I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Okay, then. Delgado is searching for a Galbank ship named Legacy. 
that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Well, I'm supposed to board a Starliner and um, steal Gal Bank archive credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Should I put a stop to this by killing Delgado? And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. All right. How do you know Jasper Cricks never found the legacy? Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. I'll proceed as planned then. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Alright, I got a lump of cash. How much did that get me up to? 50k, alright. We have, um... Well, almost fully gotten back. The amount of credits I spent on um, my ship. Right. Fire! Um, oh. oh. God, aiming so fast, just. All right. Board. Now, let's see where this Starliner is going to take me. I do have a spare suit. And I guess I have to take the uh, hat off. <laughs> that is so dumb. Just a welding helmet, basically, and the suit. And then the prisoner scrubs. Headphone cap, okay. Urban slackware, okay, that looks way more secret agent E. Okay, let's go. D Dutch. Oh, so I think my ship is Chain upside down, captain. right? Perfect. Oh yep, my ship is upside down when I'm whenever I'm docked. All right. Oh no. Oh no. I bumped it. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? 
Olympus. Oh, -ho. ship. Jump. All right. just forced to dock with it. Okay. We slow down to zero. And I will make a uh, save. Alright. Wonder if they'll force me to uh wonder if they're gonna force me to give up my arms and armor. Mm. A sanitation bot. Now I won't steal credits for right now. There's not really much to steal. Especially when they're just boxes full of credits. Holy shit. Hello. Navigator. Okay, this is some of the weakest armor I think I've found thus far. Although no boost pack. With either one of them. Okay, Deep Seeker Space Helmet. Is that the one that uh, the Varun use? Alright. Let's see, let's see. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Doug Gallo's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. I'm just following his orders. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Yeah, she asked me to get the savior award. Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Without her, you're also never getting back into the fleet. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average crimson fleet prey. Why the interest? Oh, ho, ho. He wants his credentials. All right, um... I guess I'll just say, wonder all you want. That's all the information you're getting. Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. Evadable. Um. You obviously have something specific in mind. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Ah, wow. Yeah, you're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, 
The Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. I didn't bring my dinner jacket. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. All right. As long as there's free booze. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while all you're right. at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. Ah. Okay, hard save. I thought I was going to be roadblocked at the very front door rather than immediately talk to. We got anything in here? Listen. Can't hear the engines, can you? You're not going to find better tuned engines anywhere else in the central systems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Debatable. Trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship with triple redundancy in almost every internal system. It's really funny how that uh, NPC goes, Oh my god, this ship's so resistant and resilient. But the ship is level one. Okay. Deep core space suit. Oh, it's basically a better deep core um, mining suit. Oh well. Hello, go by. Also, why am I in my suit? Breathable atmosphere, right? If you have any specific requests, please speak to one of the crew's attendants. Okay, also these guys seem very well armored. Okay. I guess I will uh, blend in. All right. So, what brings you aboard? Guess I'm looking for a specific... I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. What okay. a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, huh? Yeah? That view is absolutely Pleased to make your acquaintance. Isn't it? What can you tell me? Tell me about the... Heron Preservation Society. I'm a silver member of the society, but only a hundred thousand more credits and I hit the gold tier. Um, what can you tell me about the Earth Savior Award? I missed out on the award to someone else last year, so this year, I doubled my contributions to the society. Fingers crossed. Why did the piano music suddenly cut out? Yeah, know anything about uh, Larry Dombrowski? Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Wow, okay. Enjoy the rest of the event. They really hmm, don't an care, open bar huh? would have been nice, but Dryden's gouging us for Here for business or pleasure? What can you tell me about Larry? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. They are insanely open nice with this have info. Have you oh, tried shit. the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. Hello. Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering instructions. Hello. Are you a member of the society? I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard the Starliner. 
Okay, tell me about Larry Dombrowski. I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suites on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? Hmm. Any other info? Could we talk about something else? Oh, Please. okay. So I can only get That's at least one. Then? All right. Hello. If you want to dine at Captain Brokoff's table during dinner service, it's only an additional 5,000 credits. Any complaints about your okay. cruise should be directed to one of the staff. Why did you approach me to tell me that? Ah. Don't forget to donate. To I'm looking for a specific NPC though. Hello. Are you a member of the society? I discovered the location of the award. Ask Dombrowski. Ask about Dombrowski. Hmm, Hello. I'm hoping Please bar would have been nice, but Dryden's gouging us. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Holy shit. That's all then? That view okay. is up. He's been spending a lot of time with Okay, it's hmm. these two that That's would have had the actual info. Okay. Wow. Quite a, the society chair has really haven't we all Oh, you were the one that I Enjoy first talked to. Enjoy the rest to. of the event. Oh, okay. Now where do I go? Okay, stairs. Guest suites. I mean, I am pretty mm -hmm. fancy myself. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to keep your Starview Pass handy at all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Oh my god, I just thought... I thought it just said bounty gained or something like that. No, I used a key. Alright. Okay, this is huge. Also... Oh, I can't fast travel to my ship. Damn. Uh, F5 real quick. Hmm... This is very suspicious. No one around. Except just this one person. No, not gonna do that. I don't even have a suppressor. Or a melee weapon, so. Sorry, do I know you? No, there's no harm in a friendly little chat between two people. Okay, wait, are you seriously? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone, and my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. I know all about your affair with Dombrowski. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you... <sighs> that idiot. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it going to take to make us both happy? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I did save before this, so let's see if I could, uh... I could pay. I do have the cash. Why not? I'll pay. You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Yeah, tell me about the scheme. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. 
It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. Yeah, if you want revenge, give me proof I can use against him. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Alright. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I discovered the location of the ES award. No thing, nothing else though. A Starview Pass is required to enter the main ballroom. Who cares? <laughs> the ship's purse are going to assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. Wait, give Have me try the canopies. Horrid. Positively horrid. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Oh, do I have to the mingle to get info? Really outdone us. This is going to be the ninth Earth Savior Award ceremony, but the first time it's ever been held aboard a Starliner. All right. Nice to have met you. I guess the only way I to find out the info I want. To hold all. So it brings you aboard. Well, apparently the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. All right. Don't forget Hello. to donate to Are the Are you pleased to make your acquaintance? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Enjoy the rest Speak of the Speak to event. Sheila about the award. Okay, it seems like this character just spawned. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. I heard you're in charge of the... Uh... Yeah, when will the award ceremony occur? Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. All right, I heard you're in charge of the Earth Savior Award. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Okay, I'm open to find out this year's winner is going to be. Forget it. I refuse to have a repeat of last year's fiasco, where the name leaked early and started a common brawl. The winner's name is safely sealed away with the award itself, inside the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Oh, wow, so you're just being mean. I've done this particular cruise run. Who cares? Okay, so find out how to access the safe. Well, I don't want um, I don't want uh, to destroy. Okay, it's a person. Okay, I was like, am I going to be interacting with a terminal or a person? Cough, cough, cough. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Oh, oh my. Um. Wait, do I have thief? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Social? No, I don't have theft. So I'd have to pay or persuade. Hello? Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Can I store things with confidence in your safe? Oh, absolutely. The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant, vacuum-proof plating. In the unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. 
the safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event this ship is destroyed, we can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. Um. Okay, I have to be this straight up. Okay, can I get? Can I just take a little peek at the Earth Savior Award? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Mm, no, I'm fine. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. Acquire a claim ID. Does this mean any type of ID that has items, I guess, connected to it? In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. Wait, Dr. Gabrielle Vera. Let me try this, okay. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? Uh, okay. I can't even tab out of it, okay. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Okay. I can persuade. Yeah, so I can be on my way. And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? Uh, nobody needs to know. I, I mean... No one will ever know. Maybe. Need to there we think go. About it. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. All right, that's the first time. Uh, Please remain in designated passenger. The very first time on. I've got ever gotten a critical success on that. It took me three tries, and I got a critical success once on, I think, a two, was it? Use the claim ID. Open the door. door. I'm going in. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. What is, oh, Frontier Attire. Okay, I know what that one is. Okay. Goodbye. Kill Dombrowski. I wish I had a suppressed weapon. I really did. I don't think I will do that. I don't think I will actually do that. Don't forget to keep your Starview Pass handy at all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Blah, 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 ballroom. All right. Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. Positively. Here for business or pleasure? Okay, F5. Quite an event they're throwing today, don't you think? Hello. You here for the charity event? I'd rather talk about Dombrowski. Dombrowski? Uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Ah. Uh. But Claudia Swiss says you have information about him. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Maybe I'll have it hand over any evidence I have to the authorities. <laughs> just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? They decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Yeah, he's involved with the embezzlement scheme with Dombrowski and Swist. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. 
We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Get by an emergency might do the trick. Yeah, should we wait until he returns to his cabin and falls asleep? Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Maybe a shipwide emergency might do the trick. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. All right. Want the ship be at, list, at risk without life support? This is one of Trident's premier Starliners. That means it has the best of everything. Including a triple redundancy life support system. They installed a backup for the backup. Luckily for us, it will still trip an emergency and everyone will have to return to their quarters until I sound the all clear. Which I won't. Alright. Guess I'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. All right. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown. All right. Wait, can I Here actually go back pleasure. there? Ah, uh, okay. It's just the side door. Okay. That's interesting. Off limits to passengers. Wait a second, you're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Oh, sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? All right, kind of lonely down here, isn't it? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. All right, I need to get into the life support area. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Maybe, uh... 1,000 uh, credits will change your mind? Hey, if your heart's set on it, who am I to stop you from staring at a bunch of life support machinery? Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. <laughs> okay. Feel free to look You're around. Pretty but funny guy. Don't mess with any of the controls. Why don't I mess with any of the controls? Okay, let's see how badly I can mess this up. Life support access emergency procedure. Uh, beta will automatically activate in the highly unlikely event. Beta uh, has failed. Gamma will automatically activate. Lockdown procedures. People will return to their cabins. And mustering areas will be set to unlock to allow the in allow for inhibited uninhibited crew access. Okay. Cannot be sealed. 
Disable a life support system. Which one's the primary? Huh? Wait. I have to hit all fucking three? All passengers, may I have your attention please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Alright. Let's confront the man. There's literally nobody here. Let me just zoop. Let's see what's up here. Evolves. Ah, oh, dude. Ow. Okay. Also, I just made all of my money back. Probably not all of it. Just yoinked it casually. Surprised everyone ran so quickly. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed to your cabin. Hmm. Anti-personnel modified, okay. All right, Vera. I was wondering if you were the cause of the ship-wide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Yeah. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? I could use either one. The declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion Ooh. and remain there until you receive further instructions. I won't try to muscle, so I'm going to try to convince. I'm undercover with the UC staff, and I need everything you've got on Dombrowski. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself? By handing over evidence. And Claudia says you've already... Or you've been cheated out of your fair share. On the Galbank job by Dombrowski. Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it. That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. I could pay him off, attack him, or... Hey, you mind telling me what I'm buying? Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. It was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. All right, I will pay him then. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this all slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the, the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Emergency. Just remember Please that you promised to leave me out of it. All right. And remain there until you receive you further better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. I return the evidence. To LT. Oh, There's I'm no guessing the, alarm. um, I'm sure guess the, um, transaction log. That's the one. All right. Passenger profile. Emergency door locks have been disabled. F5. I will actually shut the door. All right, Dombrowski. Well, well. 
You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Okay, let's negotiate. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Oh, it's, that's an amazing All trick, Professor. Years. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I probably call myself a professor. Though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials wow. about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? I'm surprised you figured that out. Also, he does not understand sarcasm. Oh, it was actually a rather easy deduction to make. It's the only thing of significant value that I still have in my possession. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. I could have strong armed armed him, but uh hmm. all passengers are being asked to return to their cabin. Maybe, maybe not at that point. Okay, Rokov. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. Alright, couldn't have done it without your help. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched into help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Hmm. I mean, I want to tell you, but Delgado would kill me if I did. Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. All I owe you one, Dober. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Why call me Tovarich? Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Alright, don't worry about it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Alright, proceed to New Atlantis. Okay, I thought I had two markers for a second. Okay. Let's head on over to New Atlantis. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So it's it's uh, basically just awful food <laughs> that these people have been eating. It's just all canned stuff.
where the hell do I go? Okay, definitely down from here. What is this one? Cockpit. Oh, cockpit. Okay. All right. I didn't think I was going that way. Uh, I wish the doors... Okay, there's the door for the downstairs. All passengers. Oh, God. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please about to be a ship while emergency for how annoying that is. Okay. Let's go. And we're loose. Alright, time to jump. Also scan. Oh, it's a gas giant. Okay. What? Oh, wait, we're in Seoul. Okay. That freaked me out. Also, the uh, positions of the planets have been changing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I actually want to go check. What is this ship marker? Just going in circles. could use some extra repair parts, credits, salvage. No, I think salvage is enough for me. Pick them clean, then. <laughs> you take care. Alright, that was free star. Alright, give me a moment. I didn't think this was what I was going to come up upon. Proceed to New Atlantis. Okay, I thought she said to meet the mast. Critical hits can rarely kill the crew. Okay, that's fucking crazy. That's a crazy ass loading screen. I didn't know that uh, critical hits on a ship have a chance to just kill the crew instead of anything else. Alright, so it was the mast. Alright. Okay. 
Oh, it's the commercial district. Well, I can just wander over there. There we go. Okay. Well, the archive. Deal with the Galbank Guard. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Oh, here you go. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There are bounty hunters here. That's a classic setup. How the hell did you know that? Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives, and then they're going to jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there. Okay, that makes a hell of a lot of sense. He was acting fucking cagey. All right. Let me get my uh, better uh, outfit on. Blue collar off work. Hat. All right. That was one. Oh, why not? I'll get the uh, the fleet uh, suit on. At least I feel or look like I have a little bit of protection. And the game crashed. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, round two. We'll try that again. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Deal with ecliptic. God damn it. Oh. Gun's not that effective. Alright. Shit, okay. Okay, ecliptic, man. Dirty ecliptic spacesuit. Back and helmet. Yep, I got the full set. All right. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I just noticed that. There's a bleeding mechanic. Um, shrapnel. No. God. You just. Okay. Okay, I was trying to send him up. That's why that was hurting so much. Using a fucking flechette, okay. Using a fucking flechette pistol. I got an instigating bridger. Is this better than the one I've already got? No, this one's a lot better. Randomly deals incendiary, incendiary damage. Wait, I've got a lot of this ammo, huh? What ammo does this use? 
7.7 .7 millimeter flechette. Interesting. Very interesting. Might want to mess with that later. Hold on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think I was tracking that much blood around. All right. Uh, lost ship registry. The serendipity. Last seen. Unknown. No transponder loss. Prosperity. Departure point. Void. Intended arrival point. Classified. Unknown. Unknown. Supremacy. Departure point. Soul. Intended arrival point. Alpha Centauri slash Jemison. Last known system position, Sol. Last known planetary location, failed. Or Saturn, I looked down. Two attempts, failed. Damn. Okay, might want to look out for that then. Uh, Legacy. Bannock 4. Eight attempts. Goddamn. Oh, wait. Transpotter info. Encrypted transponder beacons, broadcast predetermined long range unique signature ping using high frequency hyperburst, hyperburst scatter arrays. Database disclaimer. Ooh. Ooh, I don't care. Also, I used a lot of that ammo. I'm going to equip that. Equip? Equip that goddamn breacher. If I picked it up. I didn't pick up the breacher, oh well. Uh, but I am going to set this as the pistol, or as my shotgun slot. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Okay, right. I am full of flechettes, but I think I'll be fine. Is this person actually walking to me? Spite feels me. Spite and beer. Okay, this is an NPC trying to get info. Alright. Proceed to the key. Well. Wait. I haven't been there yet. Alright, let's go. Let's -a go. Okay, take off. Achieved. All right, let's go back to the key. Okay, there's a star station. Hmm. Bricks. Ooh, it's got a ton of little moons. Or rocks, I guess. Jump. Can stay here forever. Well, for a while anyway. And in one instant, the stars are rearranged. And we are All here. right. Oh, okay. Well, that was um kind of scary. Mercs just found Ship out everything that we're doing. Perfect. Didn't even smudge. So... I was about to say, I haven't seen anyone yet. Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. The guy's got a real attitude problem. Speak to Bog. Oh no. I love how there's always a boss enemy with, like, small groups of enemies. Do you 
want to kick back. Avoid the last Nova. Need something? Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. He's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas oh. giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Oh my god, EM class gas giant. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps, and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? There's gotta be another way. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Crix wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But, before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that Comm Spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. We'll figure this out. Actually, we'll do the best we can. Best we can? What are you, five? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. All right. Bang, bang. I'm kidding. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. Constantly aimed at the front door. Samina can do more than patch you up. She's got a drugs of every kind. If you know what I mean. Okay, where are we going? You see, you'll never crush the fleet. They'd have to catch us first. Okay. Just not for a second. Bang, bang, I'm kidding. We 
may not have official security on the key. We're all... All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? Ooh. Yeah, why do I have the feeling you're going to make more money off of this thing than I am? Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the key. Just a thought. Fine, take it. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Report, report mission progress to the UC Vigilance. All right, let's just quickly do that. And I'll uh, look at making an ultra fucking cargo ship uh, later. I do want to use the um, what's it called? Uh, I do want to use the prison barge or the shuttle that we got up here on. For, uh, like at the second quest I do want to use that to haul cargo and contraband but it might not be worth it it's already so heavy and barely maneuverable releasing ship from dock all right done we are now free back to Seoul I guess I'll check where that uh, one ship ended up Wait, they switched to Rane. Oh yeah, they have. Holy shit! All right. Ships. All right. I didn't even notice they moved. I thought we were still in Seoul. All right, up we go. Yep. And here we are. <clears throat> All right, I'll talk to her A first. I've got info. So I heard there okay. was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Well, I was able to successfully steal the Galbank credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. I feel like they've hit a dead end. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Maybe, but I'll feel like I'm helping them too much. You're doing exactly what we told you to do. What? Do you think we're stupid? All right, calm wow. down, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Yeah, 
Yeah, aren't you concerned that I'm helping them get closer to the legacy? Of course I am. We don't really have a choice in the matter. There are no shortcuts. The route you're taking to secure Crix's legacy for the Crimson Fleet is the only one at our disposal. If you suddenly change your behavior, they'll know something's wrong. I realize it's difficult, but I urge you to stay the course for now. In the meantime, we'll formulate a plan to ensure the Crimson Fleet doesn't get their hands on that money. All right. Uh, well, we're getting close to the philosopher's legacy. I mean, Crix's legacy. And billion dollar. I mean, um, I think something called a comm spike will solve that. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. All right. I'll report back with any evidence I recover. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. All right. Also, I have a bit of evidence for you. This mission is going to require discretion on a number of fronts. Okay, you just shook violently. Okay. Uh, I have evidence for you. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. I got this piece of information on a certain Galbank employee. Are you kidding me? Zembrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. That it? Yep. Understood. All right. Whoops. I'll be here if you have any more questions. All right, level 18. Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, I could actually bring weapon engineering to two. Actually seems like a good idea. But uh, sadly, nice work on the side. I have to end this here. We'll go after the philosopher's legacy. I mean, Rix's legacy uh, in the next video, or at least the preparation to get to it. And then maybe the climax of it. I'm not sure how long this is. So yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, set notifications to all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.